good evening, everybody, and happy Friday. I am so excited to be back with you guys, and um, I just so appreciate you spending your Friday night with me. I think Denise said Friday fun night. You got that right. It's like Friday night lights. Okay, so for me, it's a lot of lights, um, but I'm super excited that you guys are here, and oh my goodness, to read your comments about the fabric and you guys going out to the fabric store and... And Denise, you got the wrong stuff, but I'm so glad that you're you're on the right track now. And I just, I'm super excited. Um, you know, the fabric was just such a fun way to kind of switch it up. So, well, today is July 31st. So if you're watching this live, um, it's July 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just going to look down and make sure, oh, hello, Louise. I so enjoyed talking to you today. And so I'm just kind of looking down and, um, you know, just seeing all of you that are here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So it is toasty hot. I'm sure it's toasty hot everywhere. Um, but it is like so hot. And um, I pulled out my holiday catalog and I will tell you, I had serious brain fog for like three days. I tried so hard to make a Christmas card to cool me down a bit. Um, but it didn't really work, so I kind of met in the middle and I decided to work on some fall cards. So I'm really excited um, that I have a fall card to share with you. So, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the holiday catalog. Now the holiday catalog, I'm crossing my fingers that most everybody, if not everybody, has received their holiday catalog. And if you haven't, um, please just send me an email and let me know. Um, the US, the United States Postal Service, it's taking a wee bit longer, um, but I feel pretty good that most of you have received them and I've gotten confirmation of that. And some of you who haven't have reached out. And so thank you for doing that and, and you know giving me the opportunity to send you another one. So as you guys know, Amanda is in here and she is helping me moderate. You'll also see Priscilla in here and she, uh, she is on my team as well and she answers some questions too. So, um, you know, thank you ladies for helping me with tonight. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always go over to Brandy's Cards. So it's brandyscards.com and there's a spot that says contact. And if you click on the contact, you can send me an email and um, I promise I will get back with you. Um, it's been super busy here. Uh, my husband said to me yesterday, we have got to figure this out because Dylan is starting his competitive soccer. And so it's like soccer three nights a week and then it's soccer games and Tyler's playing the guitar. So we have guitar lessons on one night and something else on the other night. And so thank you guys for watching for my email and checking YouTube. Um, because until we figure out this new schedule, I just have to ask that you be flexible with me and until we kind of figure out what the date's going to be, you know, and we'll plan them out. Um, all right, so I am just looking down really quick. It just makes my heart so happy to be able to, the Heather, the stitched leaves, that's what we're going to use today. So if that's on your wish list, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Um, okay. So before I get started into our project today, because I'm really excited about it, but I'm always excited because, I don't know, I had really a lot of brain fog, you know, not fart, fog, okay, a lot of brain fog this week, <laughs> and um, it was just kind of crazy. I just could not come up with something, and you guys know how that is, right? Um, and so when it all came together, I just got really excited. Um, and I can't wait to show it to you, but I do want to remind you guys of a couple of things. The um, holiday catalog goes live on August 4th. So I've had a couple of emails of folks trying to order already. It's not available yet. August 4th, and you'll be able to order your holiday merchandise, your bonus day coupons. You can still earn your bonus day coupons up until the 3rd. So you have until August 3rd to um, you know to buy or um, to buy fifty dollars in merchandise, and you receive a five dollar bonus day coupon, and so that is available until August third. Now, if you haven't received your coupons, um, check your spam or check your trash. Sometimes it just kind of defaults in there, so be sure to look at the date that you placed your order and approximately the time, 
and then go back to your spam folder and pull it up, try to pull it up that way. Or you can type in Stampin' Up! and sometimes that will pull it up as well. Or reach out to me, but you'll have to be patient because August 4th will be crazy. So um, if you don't have those coupons and you're planning on using them right away, um, just send me an email and I can contact Stampin' Up! and ask them to give me those coupon codes and I can shoot them back over to you, okay? All right, hi Christina, Melissa. Oh, I'm just so happy to see everybody. Okay, so I think that's about it. So now that I've already kind of given you guys a little bit of a, you know, not a sneak peek yet, but I've shared with you the stamp set that we're gonna use. I'm gonna go over to my crafting space and we are gonna get started. And I can't wait to show you like the different ways my mind was like, ah! okay, let me come over here. And we are going to get started. Okay, so hang tight with me here. <laughs> I lost my little microphone. Hang on here. I have got to hook it back to myself. You guys are like, what is she doing? Yeah, I'm hooking my microphone back up. Okay. All right, so here we go. So here is the Love of Leaves. Okay, so this stamp set in the catalog, it didn't, I don't, it didn't really strike me. But then I was looking at the fonts and I absolutely loved these fonts. I love Hope Changes Everything. And I just, I really liked these sentiments. So then I was kind of looking at these framelits and these are called the Stitched, leave, stitched Leaves Dies. And so I was looking at these framelits and I was like, wow, these are super cool. And so I started to kind of think about those and, and so then I was like, okay, so how do you get your creative mojo? Well, the first thing you need to do is go to your Stampin' Up! catalog. Oh, I can't show it yet. Ah, shoot, rats. That's right, I can't open the catalog until August 4th. So, I will say if you have a holiday catalog, open up your holiday catalog to Stitch Leaves and you're gonna see a card in there. And let me show you the card we're gonna create today. Um, this is my spin off of that card. And so I cased it, copy and share everything. Mine's a little different, but it's, it's similar too. So I'm excited to show you guys. Check out these stitched lines. Oh, they are just fabulous, fabulous. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys how I created that card. And then, of course, I have some other cards for you, too. Um, you know, I get excited to share a bunch of different ideas. All right. So you go ahead and grab your holiday catalog if you have it. And I'm not allowed to open it yet for you until August 4th. But I'm going to go ahead and open my catalog right now. And I'm going to tell you what page it's on. So it's on page 49. That is the, uh, the card that you're going to look for is page 49. All right. So first off, we have got crumb cake. And so you'll look at the card on page 49 and Stampin' Up! used um, some designer series paper. But today we are going to use a stamp set. I love to create my own backgrounds, and um, you guys know that, but I just really enjoy doing that. And so I'm just going to kind of stamp off, stamp on, and just create myself. I just want some light and dark behind, um, behind my leaves. So I'm just going to, you know, and I'm not worried about um, having full coverage, but if you are, this is just my background and I know it's going to be covered up, but you bring in your pierce mat, especially when you're working with these type of stamps, these um, photopolymer stamps with like a lot of space. What I find is, is that if you bring in a pierce mat and if you don't have a pierce mat, maybe you grab a magazine or something like that, that has just a little bit of give. Okay. And that also will work. So I'm just kind of adding a bit of, color to my background. So you guys have seen me do this many times and hopefully y'all are doing it too. It's just a fun way to kind of create your own designer paper. Okay. So let's set that one aside and I'm going to bring in another piece of 
paper and I am going to do a second one and you guys are like now why is she doing a second one we've already seen this well, I'm doing it because we're gonna decorate the inside and so I thought well, while we're stamping let's just keep on trucking and we'll stamp it and then we'll do the inside all right so I'm just kind of working my way around and I stamp off because it kind of gives you that you know the different colors right it gives you the different tone and really this middle part we're probably not gonna see that so I don't have to get too stressed out about the center because um, you're really not gonna see it so I'm gonna kind of just focus more so down here now the color that I'm using I think I told you guys is crumb cake so it's not real dark anyway okay so now we have our background so I'm gonna set my leaf aside and um, I'm gonna bring my computer maybe just a little closer it kind of will come into the screen but um, this way I can see you guys a little bit better now it's really hard to stamp and see all the comments but I want you to know how much I appreciate you being here and commenting and that I so enjoy going back and uh, seeing everybody chatting and talking and helping each other it really makes my heart so happy so thank you guys for doing that okay so the next thing we're gonna do is I have some scrap paper here and we're gonna stamp our leaves now these leaves are pretty phenomenal really um, especially well they're phenomenal with the stitch or without quite honestly so this is so saffron and I was just kind of if you look at your catalog I was kind of following along with as soft colors that were in the catalog so now one thing I want to say is that if when you stamp this if you don't like the way the image is looking if there's like bubbles what you want to do is what I do is I would take a back of a spoon or I would take my block and move the ink around because if you have a lot of ink that's pooled right in the center well then you're gonna get kind of a more concentrated look right there in the center so you know just try to move that ink around and just for you know kicks and giggles let's go ahead and stamp it again actually I'm gonna grab another scrap because we're gonna cut one of these out and it's gonna show through and then I'll be like oh man all right so here we go let's just stamp it again and look at that do you guys see I mean I think that you know my, my pad wasn't crazy to begin with but I actually kind of like that one better all right so we're gonna set this one aside because we are done with so saffron and then I have some pear pizzazz I just think that's like the coolest color name it's got pizzazz right so here we go so here's pear pizzazz and I'm gonna need some more scrap paper my most favorite thing is cutting these out and I can't hardly wait to show you how beautiful they are but we need a little pear pizzazz okay and you could stamp a couple in case you wanted you know to have two and then I did this little guy that I just showed you that's all inked up I did him in daffodil delight so I have to kind of be careful that I don't get inky on the sides because I think that was the edge that I I used so a little bit of daffodil delight all right and then of course the very last one was kind of the middle size leaf and he was in soft suede so I'm going to open this one back up and I do have let's see if I have one more scrap over here I think we could probably use the back because I'm not really punching it out anyway so I am gonna punch that one out so I'm gonna flip this guy over and just kind of show you these leaves are just absolutely gorgeous 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 and what I find with the soft suede is that it kind of dries and it starts to get a little bit lighter so it's real nice and of course like I had mentioned earlier you can actually move that ink with the back of a spoon or maybe with the back of a block and so that will kind of move the ink around all right so here we go let's go ahead and pull in the big shot all right so um, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna grab my big shot it's right here next to me 
and I'm going to make sure that y'all can see it. There we go. And I'm going to set these aside over here. And now what I'm going to do, this is where the magic happens. It's so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So here you go. You have the leaf, right? And we are going to grab the dies. So here's our leaf for the die or the, you know, the dies. And the cool thing is, is check these out. They actually come in two pieces. So you could put a stitched, you know, kind of a stitched look right there, or you can stitch it and you can cut it out at the same time. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of line it up and drop this one kind of in the center, right? Kind of get it in there good. Now, if it's wiggling around on you, you know, it's really hard when you're like trying to get it straight and you're under pressure under pressure all right here we go i've got some washi tape this stuff is the bomb especially oh my oh my oh my so you guys are laughing at me i'm sure but y'all have been there and you've done that right it's all good you know that's the beauty of the the live is you're like okay i'm not the only one that sort of fights with these things um one thing i found is that if I focus on kind of the stem first, then putting the washi tape down works better and it kind of gets it centered. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna run this guy through the big shot. And once it comes out, I can't wait to show you how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. So we're gonna pull our washi tape back off here. So we're not actually using this piece, but let me pull that back off, set that back down so I don't lose my framelit, and check that out. Isn't that stunning? Now look how pretty that is. So you could just use that too. And then of course, you could leave it inside, or you could just use the leaf by itself. However you decide to use it, it is absolutely stunning. So I'm not going to cut every single one of them out. I was just very excited to show you how I um, to show you how beautiful it looked. So I'm going to set aside my big shot, and I'm going to put my paper over here aside, and we're going to kind of go go back to our card. I'm going to show you how I put it together. Oh, you know what? I do have one more piece. So Amanda was here the other day. And it was funny because I was like, Amanda, my most favorite dye out of this whole thing is this. And she was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And she agreed with me. This piece right here is the bomb. And you guys are like, really? It's a bunch of lines. No, it is super, super cool. And so I'm gonna pull my big shot back in because it is just so cool. I absolutely love it love it love it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our white piece of paper down and I'm just gonna set this guy all the way down flush to the edge of my cardstock you can tape it down if you want I'm really not gonna worry about it um, it actually lays pretty straight of course unless you have some wonky uh, <laughs> some you know some wonky plates so all right, let me get this out of the way so that I can focus here with you guys. All right, so check this out. Are you guys ready for the magic? Oh, it is really cool. You guys are like, okay, it's a bunch of stitch lines. No, really, it is so, so cool looking. And I absolutely love this piece. Now, sometimes you gotta be careful. You know, I have die cut a lot of stuff and so there's a little bit of paper you know, pieces kind of left in there, but this side is perfect. All right, so now we're gonna put our card together. So that is my most favorite piece, and I am excited to show you some different ways that I used it today. So here we go. We have a whisper white piece of paper, and we're gonna fold this guy in half, and then we have our, um, we've got our stamped background right a little bit of liquid adhesive or if you guys like the stamp and seal you know you can use that too right 
There is no right or wrong way at all. So you can use either one of those. So there we've got our background. Now we have this cool stitched background, which I think is so fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my Stampin' Dimensionals. I have a tendency to use both of my hands and, um, oh my goodness, there we go. I use both of my hands and I just kind of pull them off and sometimes I get a little crazy with them. Just kind of depends on my mood that day, I guess. But it is quite a big piece, so I definitely want to make sure that it's good and secure. All right, so here we go. We're gonna add that right here to the front of our card. And then what we've got here, you see that we have our leaf, right? But I also went ahead and die cut a few more leaves so you guys could see all of these beautiful leaves and how fabulous they look. Isn't that just so pretty? And then of course you have your really beautiful so saffron one. So they're just so pretty. So you can layer these all kinds of different ways. And of course you can layer them with lots of different things behind them, right? You could put, you know, thread, linen threads, and just, you can embellish and do all kinds of fun things. But I'm gonna keep it fairly simple because I wanted to case the Stampin' Up! card, okay? That's kind of where I was starting with my creativity, if you will. So here's my leaf. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy over and we're gonna add a couple Stampin' Dimensionals because this one I wanted elevated, so it gave me a little bit of dimension. All right, here we go. And so what I'm gonna do is just kind of, you know, and if you don't like these stems, you can snip those little guys off, but I actually kinda liked them, really. So I think I'm gonna stick that one there. Okay, and so here's some pear pizzazz, such a fun name. And let's see, I gotta make sure I stick my <laughs> dimensional in the right spot. Because, you know, if you get sticking them weird, you know, you, I don't, anyway, it gets all wonky. Um, but what I want to do is I want this piece to still be raised. And so I'm going to add just a bit of adhesive right there. And then I'm going to add that guy. I don't want them all going the same direction, but I definitely like that little peak of so saffron. So I think I'm going to go right about there. Who knew that this was like such a science, right? Now here I am going to um, I am going to add my daffodil delight, and this is the this cute little leaf. Now you guys get this. I was looking at this leaf, and I think this would make a super cute four leaf clover. Like if you took you know four of those and you went do do do, you know. I thought that would be really really cool. I wish that I would have had time to make that happen, but I didn't. Um, so. I hope that one of you guys do and share it with me because I would love to see how that turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna reach over here. I've got early espresso. And I told you guys, I love this saying, hope changes everything. Sure does. And um, we have to have hope, especially right now with all of the things that are going on in our world. And so I thought this message was fabulous. So here we go. I'm just going to stamp it as straight as I can. It's the beauty of photopolymer stamps. As you can see those guys. And so I'm gonna close that back up. And you know, um, when Amanda helps me sometimes, she always grabs the, uh, like one of the triangle punches or a square punch, and she does such a good job getting these little edges. Um, and making a little banner, but I generally just kind of do it myself. And then, here we go, we're gonna add, see how it kind of hides some of those stems? So I'm okay with that. And then we're gonna add some Stampin' Dimensionals behind it. Now you need to be mindful of where you're gonna put those, because if you stick it, like if you have it flipped over and you stick it right there, well then this is gonna be higher and this is gonna be lower and it's gonna be like, whoa. Yeah, well maybe not that bad, but it could be, and you guys will be like, okay, what happened? So we're gonna put that there, and then I probably want one right here, and maybe one right here. Wow, these might be almost, almost getting too big for my 
my little banner here. Oh yeah, look at that one. He is sticking over the edge and that does not make me happy. So we had to snip him off. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna figure out where we want this. I like those stems sticking down. So I think we're gonna put it right there. Just kind of right across. So that's just really pretty, I think. And then these champagne rhinestones are pretty fantastic as well. Um, I use my snips. Of course, the take your pick tool is um, definitely the tool of choice for gems and things, but I'm old school and I just kind of, that's just how it works for me. So um, I enjoy using my snips to do that. Okay, so there you have it. So there is our fun card, but how about we go ahead, we did a second one um, background. So how about we add it to the inside? Now, if you have stuck with me, I am excited to show you some more cards and kind of where my creativity led me um, or lack of, <laughs> I was struggling this week. Oh my word. So here we go. Now I have already, cause I told you guys, I love this. So you guys are fixing to see more of those. Um, so here we go. Let's get some more Stampin' Dimensionals. Actually, you know what? Because this is going to be on the inside, we probably don't want to add Stampin' Dimensionals, do we? Because if we did, it would be probably rather hard to write on, you know, be like a little wonky. So let's just glue it down since it's the inside. So that's one thing I think is super cool is when you have the outside, you know, you have this beautiful outside and then you have a beautiful inside. Well, it is beautiful, but it needs one more thing. It needs some leaves. So let's see here. We need some leaves. You know what? Here's a green leaf that I cut out already. So what if we did that one and maybe that one or that one, that one and that one? Or honestly, I kind of just like those two. Those two are really quite pretty. And so, you know, the idea is as you have it, oh, I have a hair stuck here. Sorry guys. Um, so, you know, you have the front is pretty and then when you open it, the inside also coordinates. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna add a little bit of liquid adhesive, kind of offset that a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and punt, uh, pop this guy up, you know? He's not gonna get in the way, he'll be okay. So let's pop this guy up. Now you could even take some linen thread if you wanted to, and you could tie it around the stems and kind of have a really pretty little linen bow there. Um, but anyway, so this was kind of a fun card and this got me going. This is where I started. Um, and this was starting, this was looking at the Stampin' Up! catalog on page, what was it, 49? Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's in that top corner. So if you have yours, pull it out and have a look and let me know how I did. Okay, so do you guys like it so far? I hope so, I hope so. So from there, I decided, okay, I love the pastels. And so here is where I went with it next. Check this out. Oh, so pretty. And so here, I did not use any of the stitched, you know, because when we stitch it, you get that. And so this one I decided, okay, no stitchy stitchy. We're just gonna stamp the background. And then I also stamped my, uh, my leaf here. And then I stamped my sentiment right over the top. Used a gem, you know, one of the in color bumblebee gems there. And then I just put, you know, some of the new little um, elegant faucet gems. And I wanted these guys not to take away from here. I wanted your eye to focus right on the center. So that's why I only did that bumblebee leaf right there in the front. So I hope you guys like it. Now you could stamp your envelope. The flap would be stunning, right? And then of course this leaf on the very front or bottom left corner would be gorgeous with another message. So that's just another idea for you. Now this idea never really came together for me, but I, you guys know I like to show you anyway. So check this one out. So this was kind of another idea. And let's see. 
I think I like it this way. And so you've got the pink and you've got the green. So it's pear pizzazz, stamped on pear pizzazz, so saffron, stamped on so saffron. That's blushing bride, right? And so I was just kind of playing with this. And I almost think, well, maybe, maybe my strips needed to be a wee bit smaller. Anyway, it's just something to think about. It was something that I was playing with that never actually came together for me. But what I usually do is I actually put it in the stamp set. So I will collapse all of this in the stamp set. So the next time I open it up, it'll be like, oh, wow. And it's amazing how ideas just sort of come back. Okay. So I'm going to look over and see about any comments. Um, oh, I'm just so glad y'all are here. Okay. So the next one that I'm going to show you here, this one is also super fun. So, oh, I can't show you that one yet because that one's got my little technique. Okay. So here, let's show you this one. So here is just kind of another fun. This is pretty peacock. And so here I actually, you know how you cut this leaf out of white and you get a white leaf? This one I cut out of pretty peacock and I left the pretty peacock as the background and then I did another one in pool party. Cause see, had I left the peacock, it would have been kind of flat. So I kind of played with it and tried to decide, okay, what color did I like on that? And that's pretty. So there's lots of different things that you can do here. Of course, you know, you can go with the stitched too, which would be quite pretty as well. But I really kind of liked the color blocking, you know, that's kind of fun. And so I, I thought that this, um, you know, this blushing bride was pretty behind here, the, the peacock. And of course you could, you know, embellish the inside just about the same way. Um, I just didn't do it on this one. So, okay. So the next one I'm excited to show you because I told you that one piece was like my favorite, favorite, favorite. So before I show you the card, um, this is, here it is. No, just kidding. You guys are like, okay, hello. Um, so what I did here is I have Mossy Meadow and hello. And so what I did ahead of time is I just went dee, 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 and stamped all of those for you guys. And you know, I did freehand it. Um, so I think I did pretty good this time for freehanding. Um, but you know, it's not too bad. You could do, you could have a ruler out too or something along those lines. But I'm gonna pull in my big shot again. And because my favorite piece is that cool, super cool, like stitched lines. I'm gonna bring those guys back in. It is like phenomenal. We're gonna set that down. And I thought, okay, well, let's go ahead and stitch over our message, okay? And it does not bother me at all that it's a little bit on each edge because it almost looks like it was meant to be that way. So that doesn't bother me at all. So I'm just gonna kinda go down my, my cardstock here and let's take a look at that and see how it looks. And you guys can tell me if you think it looks super cool. Doesn't that look fabulous? And so it's just kind of a fun stitching. So well, let's try this. Let's take it. What if we go the other direction? I mean, come on, why not, right? And so this is the other direction on the side that was not stitched. And I'm gonna kind of bring it through my big shot here. And I bring it on the other side. And so let's have a look at it like this. Oh my goodness, isn't that super cool? I just think that is so fabulous. And it's like this piece. It is the coolest piece in the whole set. I know the leaves are cool too, for sure. But I really like this stitched piece. Okay. So then I was thinking that, well, what if you have, you know, I punched out a leaf, okay? And so I have my leaf punched out, but I was trying to figure out, well, how can I make my leaf maybe stand out a little bit? And so what I decided to do was I grabbed a mossy meadow marker and I thought, you know, I could go in here and I could just go along 
the stitched edge with my Stampin' Right marker. Yes, it does take a little bit of time, but it's really not that bad. And so what I did is I just sort of tapped, if you will, the point of my marker in each little spot, the little stitching. And it really looked super cool, and it kind of enhanced that stitching a wee bit and kind of really made it, you know, kind of stand out, right? So let me show you that, whoop. So we're gonna kind of go back out a little bit here. There we go. And so you can kind of see how it sort of kind of brings it out a little bit. So I wanted the dark hello, and I wanted a little bit of dark in my leaf. So are you guys ready to see the card that I got here? All right, here is the card that I created from those two pieces. So here it is. How fun is that? And so there's your leaf with the stitching and the, you know, and with the marker inside of there. And it really highlights the hello. It kind of really makes it all coordinate well. All right. And so check this out. Why not do the inside? So hello, 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 hello. I thought of you today. I just thought that was really really fun and I didn't have the opportunity but I would totally do this hello stitching just like this and I would do it on my envelope and I would do my envelope flap you know I would do my hellos this direction and you're gonna need it at least six six um, inches wide um, and so I would do that and you might have to actually put this guy you might have to run it through right you run it through once and then you might have to run it through a second time right next to it just to kind of get the whole length, right? So that is a, that is a possibility. Um, that's awesome. So I'm super excited that you guys like this. This just makes me super happy. Okay, so the card that I was going to show you before I... Um, so this one is quite plain, but I loved this double stitching, right? I just think it's like the super cool. Now I couldn't, let me just tell you, I kept laughing at myself. I wanted something here in the middle of this, um, of this leaf, but every time I did, I felt like I was making a flower. And so I struggled, um, but I really liked this ribbon. This is, the, um, this is the new ribbon from the holiday catalog. It's called Snowflake Splendor, and it is just beautiful. And so I just made a little bow but then after I did that, I started to play with this. And so this is a stamped leaf. It's stitched. It's not cut out. And then I stamped my sentiment. And then I started to kind of figure out, okay, well, I might actually really like that. How cool is that? And so obviously that's not glued down or anything like that. But I started to kind of look at that and I was like, wow, I love those two combinations together. And, you know, I might even take a strip of scrap and put it on each side to kind of give it maybe a little bit more texture and to kind of bring those seams kind of more, you know, kind of together like that. So anyway, I just thought that was super cool and I was excited to show you that, uh, you know, you can stamp it, stitch it and stamp on, you know, stamp on top of it. So that's kind of fun. All right, so I can't show you my catalog, um, but on the bottom left-hand corner, there is um, the holiday, in the holiday catalog, there's that plaid designer series paper. And it is warm and cozy and just wonderful. And we all love plaid for this time of year, but I, didn't have the plaid paper, so I don't know. It must, it didn't make my list for some reason. Not because I don't like it, but because I think I just missed it. So anyway, I decided to pull this cardstock. Now, I didn't totally finish, um, but this is the, what is it called? The old world paper, maybe? I think that's what it's called. It's absolutely stunning. Yes, World of Good, that's what it's called. World of Good Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's absolutely stunning, for sure. And so I decided to pull that 
and you guys can see the beautiful patterns and it's kind of got this foil in here as well which makes it just stunning and look at that holy moly look at this one i have to show you this one oh it's just so beautiful just beautiful and if you have any family members that are travelers or anything like that or if you scrapbook it'd be a beautiful beautiful um cardstock to use okay so the cardstock i decided to use if you're looking at your catalog is um this green one that's what i decided to start with and here is the card that i created with it now again this card i feel like needs an embellishment um you know but i thought it was great so hope changes everything and if you look at the Stampin' Up! catalog, they had the plaid behind here, and then they had the plaid under the leaf that coordinated. So again, I was trying to find a diff different designer series paper. And I liked how this was kind of stamp, hope changes everything across the bottom, and then I highlighted one of them. Now what I really see is kind of a small, like kind of a wood color button that maybe had some of the linen thread, maybe like a linen thread bow kind of out here. Um, but I didn't have time to go find one. And so I thought you guys can totally visualize where I was going with that. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. Maybe you think, oh, that was bad. Um, okay, so I have one more that was quite earthy. It's not done. Um, but again, I think it's just ideas that are super fun. And so this one, I thought, okay, well, let's take this fun, earthy cardstock and, you know, we could put some of that down. This is early espresso, but what if we took the one that kind of had the words and put it under the leaf? And, you know, you could even, you know, you could even take some whisper white and layer the whisper white to pop it even more underneath. But anyway, I didn't have a chance to kind of finish this concept or this idea, but I thought that the different color the, of the colors were just really cool for fall and just kind of fun. So anyway, um, my brain fog certainly cleared. I love that, Joanne. It did, it finally cleared up. I have to tell you, I texted Jackie, you know, Jackie from the Creative 8 team, and I said, Jackie, I am in a brain fog funk. And she was like, well, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to Chipotle. And so I left. <laughs> I went to lunch and I had a ginormous veggie bowl with lots of beans. And I came home and the fog cleared, but the air got worse. No, just kidding. <laughs> you guys are like, okay, that's TMI. Okay, but y'all know Chipotle. Okay, so here are some of the cards that I shared with you tonight that I hope you enjoyed um, just kind of seeing the progression of ideas and things that you can do. I think out of them all, this one is probably my favorite. Um, I just think it's really striking. But these two, I mean, I love them all really. I, I really don't have a favorite. Um, and then of course you have this one. So he doesn't fit in my screen very well. So I'm gonna just kind of show them to you like that. So, okay, I always ask, which one is your favorite? Because I love to go back and see which one you guys pick and which one is your favorite. Um, so let me know which one that you liked and um, I am excited to see. Okay, so <laughs> I am coming back over to my spot here. And it was funny because, well, I'm still sitting on a pot. True story. <laughs> it's a La Crusette pot. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna upgrade, we are. And I set my stamp set on there and I just went from there to here. <laughs> okay, so I might need a new case. Um, but it's all good. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to be back with you guys here. I'm just kind of looking down the hello card. Um, I'm so excited you guys liked these. They were super fun to create, super easy. Gosh, that stitched, those stitched leaves are phenomenal, right? And so there are so many things that you can do. You can use the negative or you can use the positive of those framelits. So 
lots of lots of ideas there okay oh i just love seeing all of the you know the commenting the two yellow is the ones that you like the best yes i love the soft the softness of those and you know you guys could add some cajun craze in there um i wasn't really kind of working with that um, but because i see cajun craze on my next card because that wheelbarrow card inside the holiday catalog which i can't show you um, but on page 48 yeah that has like my wheels are spinning um, i'm super excited about that one too so i'm gonna be creating with that one here real soon and i liked how it had the cajun craze so um, you could add cajun craze or maybe some pumpkin pie so there's lots of different colors right and you don't have to go traditional colors either you can do blue leaves right like i just showed you here so lots of fun ideas now i have to show you these amazing works of art that i have received in the mail you guys have just i just can't thank you enough um, for all of the beautiful cards i know i say it every week um, but i truly feel so blessed and so inspired by the mail that you send me the emails that you send me the pictures um, and so, you know, I had, I received several cards this week and I just grabbed, you know, the first, I have them kind of in a row here, so hopefully I can show everybody's, um, but I've just grabbed the first few here at the front um, and I'm so excited to show you these. And so during the Creative 8 retreat, I shared a crisscross card and it was super fun. And so Deb looks like she went to our retreat and she actually um, did one of these fun crisscross cards. And so the, um, the sentiment comes out and this card is so beautiful. And then it goes right back into its little spot. Absolutely beautiful, Deb. And um, I love the colors. Honestly, that could, you know, that could be kind of fall too. It's, it's sunshiny and bright, but it kind of reminds me maybe a little bit of fall too. I absolutely love it, so. Thank you for that. Oh, and I have to show you, I can't believe all, like a lot of the mail that I've received in the last few days, you guys did your envelopes too. I was like, woo! <laughs> Not that you have to do your envelopes, but it was really cool um, because I've been working really hard to try to do my envelopes. And so um, I just thought that was just beautifully done. All right, the next one, Another piece of, uh, of art for sure. And this one's from Rosemary and it is absolutely beautiful. And so check this out. She basically stamped her butterfly. Actually, I'm gonna say stamped it and then she embossed it in black. And it looks like she stamped it again and she cut those little pieces out. And um, really just a beautiful butterfly. And then she pieced, paper pieced it together absolutely stunning and of course all of the layers just beautiful so thank you rosemary for this beautiful card i love it love it love it love it all right so this one is from miss becky and miss becky did sent me a paper pumpkin so if you guys didn't get this box of sunshine oh you missed a good paper pumpkin it was awesome 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 and so this is this was last month's paper pumpkin so I want to point out one thing while we're on paper pumpkin it just kind of popped in my head um, if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber thank you and I hope that you're enjoying it um, but I want to let you know that if you take a look um, you can look at uh, Stampin' Up! and I can send you the video um, and look at the sneak peek or email me and I'll let you know what the cards are this time it's going to be like trophies and and that sort of thing it looks like so if that's not something that you're looking for then you can go into your paper pumpkin account and do skip this month and then it will go right back into getting the next month and of course you know stamping up uh, gosh in the next couple of months we're going to be getting what holiday like fall cards and christmas type stuff so you don't want to miss those for sure but i don't you know but i want you to know that um if you want you can skip a month okay so here we go and let's look at the next one. Oh, this one was just beautiful beautiful and so this one was the um the bird ballad look at that and so it's kind of one of those i don't know if that's called like a shadow type box or 
but it's so pretty. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. And this one's from Phyllis and it's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. You make me smile. I love this card. So thank you, Phyllis. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I love your bird. I love bluebirds. We love to sit out and have coffee in the morning on the deck and listen to the birds. Okay, so this one's from Lisa, and this is just so pretty. I love the poppies, and I love the red accents over here. Just so cool. And um, on the inside, Lisa stamped the inside as well, and then the inside also matches her envelope, which I thought was super cool. I absolutely loved it. So thank you, Lisa, for sending me that card. And I've got just a couple more. This one's from Linda. Linda also joined my team. And um, this card is just so pretty. Look at that. Just a piece of art. Absolutely gorgeous. And so I love how she did. That might be like elegant eggplant or gorgeous grape. Maybe gorgeous grape. Some old olive. So pretty. So, so pretty. She did a lovely job on that card. And then wait till you see this next one. This next one is like layers. So cool. Now I have to tell you, this card is stunning, but I don't know who sent it to me. I'm sorry. The reason I don't know is because there's just an address, but there's actually no name. And I don't really have a way of searching that city in my customers and I can't remember who's in Lawndale. So if this card is from you, please let me know. It's absolutely beautiful. And I would love to thank you, um, a proper thank you for it. So check this out. It is just stunning. So her sunflower here has a little hook, you know, so you can hook it. And then you unhook it and it opens. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh my goodness, it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And so her envelope is equally as beautiful. I had a really hard time opening the envelope. I was like trying to, and I actually looked at it and it, it is stamped. It is stamped and colored. Absolutely gorgeous work of art. So if this is the card that you sent me, please email me and tell me so that I can thank you for that beautiful piece. Okay, so this one is from Miss Trudy, and Trudy is just the sweetest, and Trudy joined us on the Creative 8 retreat, and she did a beautiful, very simple, but very elegant card, and she sent me a really cool crocheted uh, washcloth, which these are fabulous to use. I absolutely love that, so thank you. I think she sent it to all the Creative 8 leaders, so I appreciate that. Very last card, and then we might have a guest, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> Dylan, Dylan wants to come in and say hi to everybody. You wanna say hi? Uh, what was that? I was <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hello. What have you been doing? Soccer. You been playing soccer? But inside. But insi inside? Yeah. Whose house? Miss Megan's. Miss Megan's. Hopefully Miss Megan is okay with soccer inside her house. Well, there's a babysitter. There's a babysitter. It gets even better. I don't know who's in charge around here. Clearly not mom and dad when we're doing a live. Um, so at any rate, um, my very last card to show you. This was my card sent to me by Stampin' Up. And if I showed this last week, please forgive me, but I didn't think that I did. Um, check out this piece of art. Now, I don't have any sizes and dimensions, and I don't know how to recreate this envelope. I'm just being honest. Um, but it unties, and it's just, I mean, it's got all the embellishments. It says, you totally earned it. And then you open it up, and out comes, look at that beautiful card. Oh my gosh, so it is like five by seven in size. I mean, they even like kind of stamped the back, so it was really fun and it matched. And it's actually a, oh, sorry, did I have it upside down? No, okay, my bad. So Shelly and Sarah, the CEO and the co-founder, they signed it, and then it actually sits like this. 
Can you guys see that? Let me turn it sideways. So it's kind of one of those easel cards, but it's just absolutely beautiful. So hard to kind of show it to you, but it's just absolutely stunning. I mean, they, I mean, there is, you know, the bee is shimmery and the flower is shimmery and just all of the layers and the ornate, just stunning. So holy cow, wow, wow, wow. So anyway, I just was really excited to share that with you guys. So I think that about does it for me today. Um, I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. Um, thank you for um, your orders and for your cards and for your messages and for your emails and phone calls. I just can't thank you enough. And I enjoy um, receiving those messages and talking with you guys. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm kind of a stampin' nut. Well, Amanda's a nut, <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm her, uh, her nut too. And, um, and so I'm just grateful that you're here. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like some catalogs, please go to brandyscards.com and click on the contact. And then you can send me a message and I'd be more than happy to get those out in the mail to you right away. Of course, if you haven't received your catalog, your holiday catalog or your annual catalog, just send me an email. Um, you know, mail is unpredictable right now. Well, it's kind of a lot of times unpredictable. So just let me know. I'd be more than happy to send you another one. Um, and so I just, oh, just thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your Friday night with me. I really appreciate you. Um, you know, be safe out there and take care of yourself. We're working on trying to figure out how, uh, you know, learning here at home is going to go here real soon with school kind of getting ready to start. So just, um, be careful, be safe, have a wonderful weekend and, um, reach out to me and don't forget the host code is closing to, um, it's closing tonight, right? July 31st at midnight. However, um, however, it, and I will have a new host code on August 1st and I'll have new gifts. So you'll have to look at those on Saturday. But if you're interested in this month, which is July's host code gifts, it's the in color markers, the 2020, 22 in color markers, the seaside embossing folder or the fauceted gems, you're going to want to get your order in tonight and just email me the gift to say, Hey, this is the gift that I would like. All right. And just let me know. And if you haven't heard from me to pick your gift, just send me an email. Things have been kind of crazy trying to figure out our new schedule and, um, kind of getting things kind of back and organized, I suppose. Um, and so just let me know. Okay. All right, guys. Well, have fun stamping and have a wonderful weekend. And um, I look forward to, to, join, to seeing you guys again soon. All right. Bye, everybody. God bless.